cool things about aviation is that innovations that end up in military aircraft, business jets, and commercial airliners often starts with grassroots, really small organizations and small airplanes. We're here at the Shark booth at Aero Friedrichshafen. Behind me, you see this small airplane called the Steady Eddy. It features technology by Turbulence Solutions, which helps counteract turbulence in real time. It doesn't completely cancel the turbulence, but it makes a big difference. Our vision is to make flights turbulence free. Just imagine you're sitting in the aircraft in stronger turbulence, you're feeling all these bumps and you just don't feel it anymore. How is it possible with turbulence cancelling? I will introduce in a second. I'm a pilot myself since more than 12 years, even doing aerobatics, so I really love to fly. But out there, there are a lot of people who are really afraid, especially of the light aircraft. Why? Because they are very turbulent. It's a lot of turbulence down there. They are not flying this high uh, jet H levels and they are very light, even flying fast. So very high performance aircraft, but it's like a Ferrari driving off-road. So our goal is now to really flatten it and get the most out of this light aircraft. Maybe you could give us a tour and explain how it works. So this aircraft is a Shark 600 aircraft and a very special one because it's the first with turbulence cancelling installed. And how does it work? Very important is that we measure the turbulence already in front of the wing. So you have the up and down motion of the air approaching the wing. That then gives you some up and down motion of the wing and of the cabin, so you really feel it in the stomach. And what we do is just a counter motion, so like a counter turbulence. And this is generated by small flaplets. So I just produce some turbulence here. And you can see in the back, there is something moving. Like feathers on a bird wing, we produce some counter turbulence. So this is called flaplets. So it's very small control surfaces on the flap. So like a winglet, there is no winglet, but like a winglet on the wing, we have the flaplet on the flap. The technology is all this sensor here yes. and then the wing control surface. So the sensor getting the turbulence data and our control surface for the counter turbulence. And in there we have a control unit calculating the algorithm. Okay, could you show us yes. where that is? Yes, for sure. So the control unit itself, is hidden in there at the center of gravity, getting the perfect inertial measurement also for what the pilot and the passenger feel. And here we have our control unit. So that's the pilot interface, very simple. It's completely off on of the power. So servos unpowered, you always can deactivate. It's an assistance system, a comfort feature. You don't rely on it. It's not a guaranteed function for now. Later on, we can guarantee it. But now you can always override it. You can always deactivate it. You just feel the turbulence again. Then you can power it. It does some check, it's powered, and then it's just activate standby. Standby means like noise cancelling in the headset, not being active, you hear all the noise. Activate, noise reduced, in our case, turbulence reduced. Very important, the main function controlling the aircraft is always available. You can always override even the worst case asymmetric deflection that it's not designed for, it shouldn't happen, but combined errors, whatever, you can still override. So in the comparison with noise cancelling, with counter noise, you always listen to your music, you always have communication that is critical, so that works. And it's just this noise, this comfort feature, and it's just the turbulence that you can then cancel. So talk about um, how long it's taken to develop this and sort of where you are in the process. Yeah. So the, the basic idea was 2016, 17, and it was rather generating turbulence. So it was an like aerobatics flight of an unmanned aircraft generating very fast G-force. And then the idea was, okay, for the market, Fast GeForce, there's a very small group that is a user for that, but there's a lot of persons suffering from this GeForce that they don't want turbulence. So do some counter GeForce, some counter turbulence. So that was then the start of a big research project where at the end in 2021, we demonstrated full integration system in a one seat experimental aircraft. So really activating the system in turbulence, reducing by more than 70% up to 0.3 G. That's already something, so you really are scared of that if you're not used to it. Uh, and now we're in 2025, or already 2024, we're at 0.5 G, so half of gravity can be compensated with these flatlets, and more than 80%. So you're, you're feeling less than 20% of remaining turbulence. So compared to noise cancelling, it's almost silent, the noise is gone. And also for turbulence, you just feel some small vibrations there. Are there plans to get certification like STCs to retrofit this on airfoils? On for all other the aircraft. So our, all aircraft. <laughs> on yeah. all the aircraft. That's our vision. So that's the mission to so make the whole aviation industry turbulence free and doing that step, step by step. 
So there are three main criticalities, aircraft size, way easier to get into the two-seater ultralight than A380, A390 in the future or whatever. Then how much counter turbulence. We have the small flatbeds, maximum 0.5 G. We could go up to maximum G load. We could even go into, uh, you save the wing from braking because of the system, but that's very critical because your system needs to guarantee that. And that's the third criticality. Is it a guaranteed function or is it just an assistance system? And we start with the small aircraft, with the small flatbeds and just with an assistance system. You can always override you can always deactivate. If something is unintended, deactivate it, you just feel the turbulence again. In 20, 30 years, we might be at a very big aircraft with a lot of counter turbulence and as a partially or really fully guaranteed function, like Autoland, like if you enter clouds, you should have reliable instruments and it's not just some nice backup instrument. Yeah, as a pilot, one of the things that is difficult for me, you can't see the wind, right? Exactly. So I feel like you've created a way to see the wind before the leading edge hits the turbulence. That's actually, the main problem so. for a pilot. You can be a very nice pilot, but you don't see what happens. It's like if you're driving a car and it's dark, then you could do just anything and it will worsen the situation. Or in Austria, we ski a lot. And if you ski in fog and you don't see it, you just do anything. But if you really see what you're doing, you can anticipate there's going up, down, and you do up, down with your knees. If you drive a car before the turn, you already steer on the right to angle and not getting off the road and back again. And as a pilot, if you start to contact the turbulence, forget you will only get into pilot-induced oscillation. So all up, down, up, down, your pitch control, your whole aircraft uh, rotating, that's just too slow. And you're only reacting because only if you feel the turbulence yourself in the stomach, you start to react, and then you have like 0.3 seconds way too uh, reactive. You need to be proactive and anticipate what happens. And we have a motion platform, so if you want, we could show you uh, how it feels yourself. Only the turbulence is cancelled, that's very important. Okay. So we can distinguish what is the airflow that we measure from turbulence and what is coming now from your maneuvering and only the turbulence is cancelled. Okay. So if there was no turbulence, the system won't do anything, but there is turbulence, so if the system is deactivated again, uh, you feel it. Yeah, this is like flying a 172 exactly. <laughs> on a hot day. Yes. Oh. It is a small aircraft. Okay. And also for all this EVTOL, advanced air mobility, that is fixed wing flight in a light aircraft, four seater up to six seater maybe, in low atmosphere. It will be an experience like that. That could be a flying taxi. Nobody will uh, return if yeah. it's just a Nobody passenger and not an enthusiast. <laughs> but that's okay. That's really mobility and not yeah. just Sunday leisure flights. That's a huge difference. That's this a huge is really difference. incredible. Oh, I'm gonna fly into yeah. a house. Okay, I think I think cool. we can stop now. <laughs> yeah, we just right. pause here. And Fantastic! Thank you. It. Thank you very much.